I'm going to pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick video on the Chicago Blackhawks trade deadline recap as we do the next, you know, trade deadline recaps as they had a very lively trade deadline trading Mark Andre Fleury and Braden Hagel. <clears throat> and Brandon Hagel, excuse me. But Brandon Hagel, some I didn't think they should have traded from the onset. You know, he's a young guy, 23, that's just starting to break into his own, and you're a team that's trying to get the next core to be the Blackhawks of old. But once you get offered a trade of this elk, you get Boris Kachuk, who has a chance to be an everyday player. You get Radish, who has a really good chance to be an everyday player. And two, not one, but two firsts of four assets um, for Braden Hagel. And you also give up two fours, but that's no biggie. You're obviously going to take that trade as a rebuilding team, because in a loaded draft, you get a 23 third uh, for 23 first-round pick, I mean. And even though it's Tampa's pick and they're going to be great, it's a loaded draft in 2023. In 2024, you get a first-round pick. You get Boris Chuck and Radish, who could be in your lineup, obviously, immediately. And then for Flurry, they get a 2022 first-round pick. So they have a 2022 first-round pick at this deadline, 2023 and 2024, plus Boris Kachuk and Taylor Radish. I mean, what more could you want? And then they got a 2024 fifth, obviously, for Ryan Carpenter. And his services work out more for a contending team, so they let him go to a contending team to be the great face-off guy that's good on both ends rather than on a team like the Blackhawks this year that are not there yet. So I love everything this team did at the deadline, and I think they deserve AA grade just because they did everything they should do for a rebuilding team, even though I personally didn't think they should have traded Hagel on the onset. Um, they got such a big haul for him, and it don't matter that the picks are top 10 protected in that trade, because when the heck are, like, do you really think the Lightning are that top 10 pick? Um, so, uh, th that's no problem. And you get Kachuk, Radish, and 2022 first for Flurry, and then a fifth for Carpenter. And that's nothing big. But, to me, I mean, they deserve an A. They did what they need to do as a rebuilding team. At the deadline, they got perfect rebuilding assets, picks, and two players that have a chance, especially Taylor Radish, I think, is going to be a top, has top six potential. Kachuk, I think, has top nine potential, with maybe it can go up from there. So, we'll have to see. But I think these are perfect moves for their team. Definitely, they deserve an A. This has been the trade deadline recap for the Chicago Blackhawks. Please continue to subscribe down below. Over the easy to use widget to keep trying to growing 215 or more our end of March. Cole, have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. And good luck for the rest of the season, Blackhawks fans. I love watching, actually, how Smith's been able to get that team playing at the best of their ability, especially the Dylan Stroms of the world and others, where it's going to be very interesting um, to see how they continue to finish out because Stroms has been much better, and I love Dylan Strom. I love how he's looked with him and actually has got the opportunity to play with Colton buried him for no reason. Uh, Kurashev's looked good. Uh, Radish is obviously in there already, and... I thought he's looked solid. They have Kachuk starting on the fourth line, so I would honestly eventually replace Sam Lafferty with Kachuk on the third line, but that's just me. So I think this team brought in good assets and are going to get more assets with the picks they got as well. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.